If you thought cats had nine lives, wait until you hear what happened to these ancient mummified kitties. Let's start with the Egyptian lioness goddess, Pake. She was fierce, wild, and definitely not the kind of feline you'd want to mess with. She roamed the desert, slashing at enemies, and was so badass that the Egyptians dedicated a whole cave to her Wear, Get this. They buried thousands of mummified cats in her honor. These cats were votive offerings. The ancient Egyptians mummified cats, thinking it would win them some extra goddess points with Pake. You know, like, here's a dead cat. Now protect me from desert demons kind of offering. And no joke, they really put effort into it. The mummification process for these cats was serious business. Just like with humans, the cats had their internal organs removed, their bodies dried out with natron, especially Egyptian salt, and were wrapped in linen cloth. Some were even coated in resin, ensuring these cats were preserved for eternity. Fast forward a few thousand years to the 1800s, when Victorian England was losing its collective mind over all things Egyptian. Egyptomania was sweeping across the country, and soon, archaeologists were digging up not just pharaohs and tombs, but thousands upon thousands of mummified cats. That's right, catacombs of cats. Now, what do you do with a surplus of ancient mummified cats? Why? Auction them off in England, of course. Nothing screams Victorian chic like owning a centuries-old mummified cat, right? But wait, it gets weirder. Some of these auctions were more like mummy clearance sales because there were just so many of them. And what did people do with these mummified felines? You're thinking they'd go in museums or on fancy display, right? Oh no, that would be too classy. Many of these mummified cats were ground up and used as fertilizer. Yep, you heard me. Your garden's finest might just have been fed with the remains of ancient Egyptian cats. Who knew mummified kitty dust could make your roses bloom? And as if that weren't strange enough, there are reports that some of the linen wrappings from these cat mummies were even recycled for paper manufacture. That's right, your Victorian-era paper may have been partly made from ancient Egyptian cat bandages. While not every mummified cat became paper, it's believed that some of these bandages were indeed used in paper mills in the 1800s. For the Egyptians, these cats were sacred, literally sent to the afterlife with care to keep the gods happy. For the Victorians? Well, they were either quirky decorations, fertilizer, or just another bizarre collectible to keep around the house. Imagine being invited to a dinner party and finding a mummified cat as the centerpiece on the table. Despite their weird afterlife, these mummified cats still hold a piece of history, showing just how far people will go for their deities and their Victorian curiosities.